This controls everything to do with the solar heating system. It's got off cast switches on and auto. The homeowner will usually just leave it on auto and control it with this knob, getting the desired temperature. There's the uh, lights over here indicating that it's working, power, heating, cooling. And what this does is it basically controls this actuator, which is mounted on top of a three-way valve. What this actuator does is it spins and it either opens a left turn or a right turn. What this will do is it'll close one of the turns, forcing the water to go towards the solar panels up to the roof, heating the water to the panels. Then it'll come down through and in our return we have a T and one end of the T is, comes from the turn, the other one goes back into the pool and the water will just shoot straight from the roof back into the pool. Mm -hmm. But now when the solar's off, the actuator will turn in the other direction, mm -hmm. just leaving the, the turn towards the pool and the pressure from the water will force the water to go back into the pool, just cool. completely bypassing the system. What we do is we cut the line after the filter. So basically here's the pump, the water come from the pool comes up through here, goes into the pump, it gets pumped through here, then up into the filter. The filter then relieves the water here and it goes back into the pool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the line here and here and we'll install our system right here just so everything's after the filter. We know we have clean water running through the panels, no dirt debris is gonna get in there. And that's about it. It's just gonna tie right back into where the pipe is in the ground. There's no there's no real running anything to the pool or anything sure. like that.